When we find a patient who is a candidate for dry needling, we first evaluate to make sure that they don't have any contraindications or precautions to it. We always want to make sure they're lying down in position comfortably as we do the needling. We sanitize our hands carefully, use gloves, use sterile needles. Um, which are very small um, needles. They're, they're, um, they're closed needles, so they don't have an opening in the middle. They're, they're very teeny. Um, and we clean the skin pretty well with alcohol, just to make sure there's no oils or dirt that are gonna penetrate into the skin. We use our fingers to palpate or feel around for adhesions or trigger points. We're looking for something that is painful to the touch where we can feel that adhesion under our fingers but also maybe reproduces the familiar pain that the patient's used to experiencing. That's how we know we're on the right area. Once we find that area, we isolate it with our fingers, hold it in place either by kind of pinching it depending on the muscle or just putting pressure down so we can isolate it and have our fingers on either side and then place the needle in. Usually the patient doesn't feel the initial insert, sometimes they do, um, and move the needle into that trigger point directly. It feels a little bit different than palpating um, with your fingers. A lot of times when you're palpating with fingers you're kind of mashing other structures down and it's actually more painful sometimes. This way because the needle is so small we're able to directly get into that trigger point, move the needle around without withdrawing it from the skin, keeping it in, within the skin so you're not poking the person multiple times, um, and just moving it until we feel that trigger point release. And I like to say it feels like you're moving through butter. After it releases, it just moves nice and easily. The patient usually doesn't feel much anymore. We take it out, make sure everything looks good, and then they sit up and they're usually good to go.